Hey guys, welcome to Get Busy Watching. I'm your host, Honest Dan. Let's talk movies. I haven't seen you before, have I? Are you going to try for a different life? A new day has begun. Jesus Christ! The Exorcist and The Shining scared me less than this. Who the f thought this was a good idea? All this movie is, is singing. And yes, the cynic in everyone is all like, well, isn't that what all musicals are? No. No, bitches. In better ones, they actually have scenes where people talk like people better musicals give you room to breathe between songs this movie is not so merciful literally once a single song and dance number is done there is an immediate jump to the next one they don't even forward the plot all of the songs are about nothing. When a new character comes out of nowhere, and no exaggeration, every character appears out of nowhere, and they start singing about themselves. 90% of them are like this. If they're not about the character that appears out of nowhere, they're about cat puns, like drinking milk. Yes, there's a Satan-blessed song about drinking milk. Dear Jesus, stabbing me in the ear with a screwdriver would have been generous. Not like the lack of audio would have made the movie less abysmal, as the visuals are eyesores on their own. You know, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend never got the attention it deserved, because it's truly a wonderful musical comedy. In the final season, episode 8, Rebecca Bunch has probably the one line that I can only assume was the pitch for this movie. Who cares if there's no plot? She ain't lying. What somehow passes for a story here is basically, there's a cat heaven. And if you're worthy, you have a chance to go there to start a new life. Worthiness is decided by what can easily be described as a singing competition. I'm deadly serious. This isn't a positive, but the only actor who knows that he's in a stupid ass movie and delivers a subpar performance to match the movie's absurdity is Idris Elba as the main villain who kidnaps everyone that poses a threat to his chances of going to cat heaven. While everyone else is horrendously misguided in how seriously they're taking this material, Elba is hokey, over the top, basically the cartoon character that this entire flick should have been. Not that it would have helped any, as the song and dance numbers are enough to ruin any possible good animation. And even though I missed about the first five or so minutes of the beginning, I doubt I missed anything that would have been meaningful to the development of our main protagonist, Victoria. She has no character. Zilch. Nada. She is a black hole of personality. Her main purpose of the story is to look dazzled at everything that every character shows her. To look sad at the characters who deserve pity. To look enchanted by free-spiritedness. To look awe-inspired by something mysterious and vaguely beautiful. 
to fall in love with a character that she's had about 30 seconds worth of screen time with. I'm pretty sure Victoria doesn't even have any meaningful lines for a vast majority of the story, only occasionally singing in a chorus or her own song about three quarters of the way through. The only true enjoyment that's come from this movie, other than the excuse to show off that line from Crazy X, the director Tom Hooper wants to re-release the movie, but with improved special effects. The CGI is not the problem. The CGI is not the main problem of the movie. While I am curious to see what better CG means in a movie that doesn't look like it has all the room in the world for improvement, this movie still has a terrible story, terrible characters, and forgettable acting to hinder it. Amazingly, good CGI doesn't fix that shit. I can't imagine anyone legitimately liking this movie. Maybe ironically for how bad it truly was, but that's not me. For me, this was an awkward and miserable experience. And I say... Avoid it. Better CG or not, this movie is not worth your time, gas, or money. My honest rating for Cats is a 1 out of 5. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Hope to see you soon.